Hi everyone. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. Don't ask me why I've just done that. I don't know if this camera's set up right or not. I'm hoping everything looks okay. But yeah, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing okay. Um, it has been a hot minute and I am sorry. Again, as per usual, this is just me. I don't know why I do this. There's no excuse for it. Like, I'll film and I'll enjoy filming, editing, all that kind of jazz. And then something stops me and then I just don't have the energy for it. I don't know what it is. But yeah, I'm back again. Yeah, I don't know. Like I said, there's no excuse. It is, it's just me. I need to get over in my own head. But yes, today I am back with, not a, well, I say a haul, it's not a haul because I haven't got loads of things to show you. I finally jumped on the bandwagon and bought one of the Kylie Jenner lip kits. Now, I avoided, my nails are disgusting. I'm trying to cover my nails, but a bit disgusting. Now, I, there's a mark on this and it's so annoying. It's the only one they had left. So I'm being nosy who's out the front. Um, yeah, so I finally jumped on the bandwagon. I don't, there was no, I would say there's nothing like stopping me. It's just like, it's a matte lipstick with a lip liner. It is what it is. And I always had like lipsticks and lip liners anyway. So to me, it's like, I don't need to add to the collection or whatever. But what I have noticed um, lately when I go out, I normally just wear my lip liner and I can't remember if it's the MAC lip liner with my Fenty lip gloss or I've got a Primark one because my Fenty one's running out <laughs> um, and just sort of leave it at that but I'm always finding, sometimes I put lipstick on as well um, but I'm always finding that I'm having to reapply and reapply which on a night out is actually really really annoying for me because I mean although it's quick lip gloss and go, so I'm doing something different my hair today um, but yeah, quick lip gloss go. Don't really need a mirror because, you know, it's quite easy to do. But it's just getting on my nerves more and more. Sometimes I think like the lip gloss is still on my lips and it's not. And it's just that I've got a lip liner and looking a bit odd. So I think I was watching, again, I was late with the Kardashians this year. Um, watching their latest season series, whatever it is. And it's like the lips are always looking just perfect. I was like, do you know what? Think it's time for me to buy a lip kit and I went to my local boots very annoyed they didn't have a massive selection they literally had a stand and it had like three or four four different shades of the lip kits and then some other couple of bits on there but I was just like this is actually shocking but I just want to look at a bit of a nudie kind of color um, and then because they had like a nude, had a bit of a pink, had a red and had another kind of shade. I can't remember. But yeah, I was just like, hmm. Do you know what? The one I actually want, which is what I've got is 808 and Kylie. Um, or, yeah, if you can, should be able to see that. Um, this is the actual, when I sort of done the swatch of them, I'm like, this is the kind of colour I want anyway. Like, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna quickly do a swatch. I mean, I haven't, I've only opened this just to take a quick picture of it, but I haven't actually sort of swatched it or anything. So yeah, I do actually like this packaging. It's quite cute, simple, sweet. Although I didn't realize there was marks, at, well not marks, but on the teeth bit of it. No, that's the, I don't know what that's supposed to be like in the middle of the mouth, but does anyone know that bit there just looks a bit weird? Okay. <laughs> Oh, I never noticed that before, I do not know. Um, but yes, yeah, sorry. <laughs> it's so annoying, I shouldn't film here because I should shut my curtains. Um, because yeah, everything goes past, it just really distracts me. So yeah, I've got the lip liner, and it's this cute pink colour, and I think it's just gonna get ruined when it goes into my handbags all the time, but yeah. So, the lip liner. Oh. Do you know, I don't know what I am doing because you're, Hold on, no, because I'm just going to balls this up. Oh, sorry, I have an itch on my nose. Oh. So, I'm hoping. Can I see? That's the lip liner. To me, that's like a brownie. Well, it's a brown colour. <laughs> I'm not saying what it's kind of it is. Um, and then we've got the. 
a little bit of satisfaction when you open up and they look gloss or some lipstick or anything like this like it's not messy around the top bit but I'm about to make it messy I hate that like why can they not make them in such a way where it doesn't go everywhere but yeah anyway oh, satisfaction of this I really just don't want it because uh, I don't want the loads on it to go on my hand oh I've just ruined it well I haven't it's just me being me I'm um, being OCD uh, <laughs> so you've got the lip liner obviously on this side and then the lip uh, the lipstick matte lipstick on this side um now i'll be honest with you when i first swatched them i was like have they got them in the right places because these are two different colors and i'm a bit like what's going on here but i realized actually no it will work because obviously where you do your thing blah blah whatever it will work and it will come out good the funny thing is the color next to this one i can't remember what that was called i think i did a picture of it double check on my phone um funny enough the lip liner was the same shade as the lipstick but i can't remember the color of the lip i um, think it was so i was like have they kind of just done that on purpose or obviously but yeah they know obviously what they're doing and it was just me being me oh God, hair everywhere. um being like normally they should match but obviously if you want to do your business it doesn't need to necessarily be an exact match in anything but yeah, I'm just rambling on rubbish now because I've literally just lost my train of thought. So annoying. But yes, what I'm going to do, I'm going to put this on. It is drying quite nicely on my hand, which when I've done this, swatched this before, it, would, it took quite a while to, um, to come off. Um, so yeah, I'm going to swatch, swatch this. I'm going to put this on and then come back in a bit because I'm going to film another video. Um, and like, I want to see like the lasting side of it I mean I'm not going to be out all day or anything but for me it's more like when you're talking you're sipping drinks as long as it's not transferring or coming off easily then I'm happy so yeah I probably will see you in an hour or so um and yeah we'll see how it gets on and I'll also let you know how see how it applies yes see you in a bit so I am back um it's been like god for oh well over an hour like an hour and a half or something that time i filmed another video made something to eat tied away clothes yeah so i've done a few things so i'll be honest i have reapplied i don't know if you even i don't know <laughs> but um <clears throat> i have reapplied purely because when i was eating i had a wrap now that's probably the worst thing to be eating when trying a new lipstick because when you're biting into it it's, hot, it's easier when you've got like a knife and fork you can avoid the lips touching any food <laughs> do you know what I mean <laughs> but I had a wrap so yeah I have a wrap and I realised halfway eating I was like this is so not going well so yeah like the inside did come off not too too much it wasn't like drastic where you could see the difference but I could see, I was looking at it, I was like, yeah, you can see that's come off. And as I was eating the wrap, I did see slight little marks, little lip marks. So yeah, <clears throat> probably not the best thing to do is have a wrap when you've got this on, you're trying it out and you're waiting for it to dry. So I probably would recommend not eating a wrap. <laughs> but overall, I have been really, really happy with it. Like, I love the colour. And I was curious to see, like, the... Um, the shade of the lip liner which was so easy to apply it wasn't like you really having to keep going over it literally just glided on so smoothly it was unreal and like everyone has this thing well i know i do but obviously not everyone's lips are perfectly symmetrical so like i think it's th yes yeah, this side on me it's just hard when i'm looking in the camera um this side i find this lip isn't as like got the curve more on this side than it has this side and some of the same underneath which i only really noticed when i put this on which is really weird um so yeah i noticed the cut so i was able to like easily kind of make it a little bit more symmetrical because i'm always just conscious that it just it feels like the lip kind of goes in before it actually finishes if that makes sense <laughs> i know i'm probably sound crazy but yeah 
so it's easily able is it able or oh, whatever i still can't say able to then easily oh my god there we go able to easily apply and like just oh what's the word i'm looking for i can't think of anything but yeah just to make it look a bit more better for me anyway um but yeah obviously i'll put the actual lipstick on it was going like the color like i said the colors were two different colors in my eyes i'm just like how's this gonna work obviously it must work but no, it really, really did work really well. And I was, it just looked so nice. Um, initially, it did take a little a bit to dry. Like, it was tacky. Like, it's not too bad now. I've applied it and then let it set. But yeah, it's a little bit tacky initially um, to start off with. So I'm like, oh, how long is this going to take to dry? Like, I don't want something that's going to be like, uh, taking like 10, 15 minutes to dry. Like, normally my lip is my last thing to put on. So like I've always done my eyebrows, everything else beforehand, and lip, I said last thing. And normally I'm literally lip gloss and lip, or lip, lip, lip liner and gloss and go. But obviously I don't want to, oh, what's the, I can't get my <laughs> through words today. I don't want to be sat, why have I got so much fluff on me? Um, I don't want to be sat here like doing my makeup, then like, oh, I've got to wait 10 minutes for this to dry and all that kind of stuff. So yeah, but. When it did dry, like I said, it was tacky for a little bit. I'm really sorry, I can't help but look out the window. <laughs> um, but anyway, yes. So, overall, um, is it worth the money? So it's £26. Is it worth the hype? So, the brilliant lip kits, don't get me wrong, but I think maybe not needing to be... I and mean, I suppose you get a lip liner and a lipstick because on average how much is a lip liner like you go to MAC and it's, I can't even think how much they are but like the lipstick and they're £16 or something so yeah I suppose to be fair lip liner and lipstick when you think about it that way yeah it is worth the money um longevity I'm gonna have to do this on a night out taste it properly but I would say so far so good just be careful what you eat <laughs> Um, out of 10, what would I rate it out of 10? I'd say, oh, probably 8, 8.5. Like, the lip liner for me is a good, good thing. Like, that lip liner is so nice. Um, and I haven't had to reapply that, actually. So, yeah, that's a really good thing. Um, mm, I'm going to say 8.5 out of 10. Yeah. I just wish I had more colours in my boots because I can see oh, this can't be dangerous because how this is like I do like how it is I can see me just having quite a few different colours um yeah I think I think there's going to be more purchase in the future just watch this space <laughs> but yes I hope you enjoyed the video guys if you do please give it a thumbs up and I can see a little bit of fluff flying around which is really annoying me I'm oh, sorry so yeah give it a thumbs up subscribe um i'll link my socials in a little bit i'll link them or put them on my screen in a bit um but yeah i'll see you soon Bye.